I just knew there was something else I wanted to do in that last video. And this is a great tip for you. Whenever you're working with ACLs that are affecting traffic from one end of your network to another, whether it just be your building or it be a WAN as we're seeing here, you should always check to see if your intermediate devices can still communicate. So the key here is I want to go back to router 2 and ping which will have a source of 172.12.123.2 and make sure we can ping dot 4. I'm sure we can and we could. Again it's just that network 11 we were banning there. So since we're on router 2 let's just go ahead and configure it here and then I'll take all the old configs off of 2 and 3 before we go on to a new lab. Now we're going to write an extended ACL and with that in mind, there's no problem with placing an extended ACL on the interface closest to the source of the traffic because you can be so darn granular with it. You can go way past IP addresses, and I'll show you some of those options in a later video in this section. But let's go ahead and get that particular ACL written. We'll go with 110 here. We'll just go over the syntax again. Never hurts. We've got a permit, but we're going to do a deny first, right? Absolutely. IP. There's our source and now our destination. And remember the requirement said the e-commerce server and any other hosts we put on that segment. So we're not going to use a host deal here. We're going to use the 444440/24 network as a whole as the destination. Just got it on one line. Oh, what did we miss? I bet I handed one letter. Yeah, one extra number there. Okay, and you could see there, you know, at first I thought, oh, I left IP out. That's easy to do, but I didn't. I just tacked an extra five on the end, and that's what I love about that. So you could end up looking at the beginning of this list and saying, well, what's wrong with it? And here are the care just saying, you know, hey, you're, you know, inventing IP version 4.5 here. Don't do that. So let's put access list 110 permit and we need two innies there and this one we can put on the interface actually facing the source of the traffic. We're going to do an interface E0. So are we going inbound or outbound with this list? We're going inbound because the traffic's coming in on the interface where we're doing the filtering. And that should do it. Now let's go out to router 1, our host device, standing in for our host. No problem there. And there's that u.u.u .u .u again. So we know that something's happening downstream. And of course, in this case, it is that ACL that is blocking them. So that's really all there is to that one. You know, that's a good example of why we'd have to use a standard ACL because we were told to and how that changes where you put it in the network. And after that, the extended ACL is just written and applied the same way we've been doing it in the last couple of videos and you're done and done in a much more efficient manner. Again, in a nutshell, unless a practice exam, real exam, job interview, doesn't matter because I've put that in job interviews more than once over my life. Um, just watch the standard ACL, you know the rule, I'm not even going to say it again, and just watch how that affects where you place your ACL. In the next video, we're going to take a quick look at blocking some pings and exactly how we do that, and we'll also take a look at some of those options I've been mentioning as far as TCP and UDP go. So I'll see you on the next video for that.